Hi, I'm Amy Eckert and my husband Steve Eckert with uh, Briarwood Kennels and Dogs Prison Program. Um, Dogs Prison Program stands for Dogs Achieving Wellness and Good Structure and we pull dogs from high kill shelters, get them placed with two of Henders into our state prisons and federal prisons where, where they are trained in basic obedience. Uh, the dogs will stay inside the prisons for th four to six weeks depending on the dog's needs. If the dog needs to stay in longer, they will. Uh, we don't, uh, after uh, say a, a set amount of time, send them back to rescues or shelters. We keep them there until they're adopted. Absolutely. And uh, the guys train them in basic obedience, so the dogs co go home learning how to sit, stay, come, stand, all that fun stuff, as well as crate training. Um, so it works out really well. We also teach the uh, defenders uh, some tri basic tricks, uh, teach the dogs if the dogs are able to learn tricks, such as give paw, uh, watch me, roll over, uh, depends on the dog's uh, capabilities and what they're when, when they work on. <laughs> these two are not available for adoption. They are yes, own personal these dogs. Are so personal we're just dogs. Mention that. <laughs> this little guy named Jax, he went through one of our programs a few years ago. Uh, and we ended up uh, yes, falling we in, fell love in love with them. How to keep him? <laughs> fell in love with them. We brought him home, and he ends up bonding with me and being my dog instead. <laughs> so, so he's I, a keeper. That's he's my sure. working dog. <laughs> Definitely. Right? There you go. Hi, we're with you with uh, some little shepherd mix puppies. We have five of these little guys that came in from, um, most of them come, our, our dogs come in from high kill or overwhelmed shelters and rescues down in the south. Um, these guys came from Alabama. So they were unfortunately found on the side of the road, abandoned, and uh, they were too young of age to go into a normal adoption. Um, so for instance, most of the places around will adopt after eight weeks of age. These guys came in when they were six weeks of age. So they were not available for adoption, which most shelters down there, um, just because they have so much, you know, dogs down there they'll have to euthanize for space so we were able to take these guys into our program and um, they'll be available very shortly absolutely then we had this little one um, a little a, terrier mix yeah uh, possibly she, yeah, possibly <laughs> <laughs> she be uh, in you uh, a terrier mix so uh, the uh, these uh, little guys are full of energy and life and uh, the uh, type of home that it should be going into is an active home uh, with a owners that uh, are, are pushovers. <laughs> so tell us how you got these little puppies and how many are in the litter this time? Well, I think there's about what five of them? In six. The, six, my bad. Okay. Six, six dogs in the in the litter okay. and uh, they're, they're uh, once again they're a set of dogs that came down from down south and uh, once again not enough uh, room in those shelters down that area so we, we're, we we're more than happy to help out and partner with uh, different shelters and get them up uh, here to where uh, we can get them inside the prisons and get them worked. So you saved these guys' lives is what you've done. We try our best. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, so tell us, how do you make the selection process of what dogs you're going to take? Uh, luckily, we've partnered with several shelters and rescues, and we have some wonderful volunteers down in the south. And what they'll do for us is they'll take video cameras and they'll video a lot of the dogs that are in the shelters. Um, we can then have them pull certain dogs and do our behavioral testing. Um, we can only take friendly, outgoing dogs. Um, with the prison program, they are around literally hundreds of people, so we cannot take any type of aggression or you know issues with other dogs, unfortunately. Um, and then you know they'll videotape you know doing a lot of our different behavioral assessments. And as soon as you know we get that back, then we can say. Yes or no? So what is the advantage of these dogs being in the prison environment? Um, a big thing is socialization. So a lot of these dogs are not just sitting in kennels 24 seven like most of your SPCAs. These dogs are literally around hundreds of people. They are brought all over the institution. So they're in the hospital wing. They're all over the place. They are around, you know, all different varieties of people, including people with disabilities. So we really, really, truly know our dogs. They're fully crate trained as well and housebroken and uh, fully vetted. So if someone is interested in adopting a dog, what is the process that they do? Uh, normally they email in and they can kind of give us a request of exactly what they're looking for in a dog. We try to match up the correct energy level with, with the right family. So um, if a puppy is very outgoing and needs a lot of exercise, we don't want to place that dog in a more sedentary type of home. Um, so we really want our dogs to be in a home for the lifetime of the dog and, and set them up for success. Um, after that, if it's a good fit, we have you guys come out to the prison where the dog is being trained. It is perfectly safe. Visits are done strictly outside or in their lobby. You are 
we're not around offenders and you know so you're good to go there <laughs> we do get a lot of concern that it's going to be in the prison and it is not we have uh, kids can are more than welcome it is perfectly perfectly safe um, so you get a chance to walk your puppy around the prison grounds um, and spend some good time with the dog okay one more question if they have a dog of their own and they would like to see how it gets along with the new dog is that allowed to bring their dog absolutely we do do visits with the, the furry members of the family too because again we want to make sure everybody's going to get along and be compatible in the same home so tell me what benefits does this program have it truly is a win-win. Um, most of, if not all of our dogs are coming from high kill shelters, so they're getting a second chance at life. The prisoners and inmates in the program are getting a second chance too. Uh, most times they'd be spending their day doing literally nothing, and now they're actually learning a valuable skill that when and if they do get out of prison, they can then become productive members of the society, which is great, and they really do feel a, you know, a good feeling of accomplishment. They love to show the training that the dog has had. Um, my husband and I go into each facility twice a week to show the handlers how to train their dogs, and then we also want to see you know how they're doing and progressing and so they are very very you know thrilled to show us like look you know buddy learned a new trick and you know it, it, it's, it's definitely a good sense of accomplishment for them